It's 9 p.m. Do you know where your cosplayers are? Hi, uh, it's 9 p.m. I look like a hot mess, but I just finished making Sylvie's breastplate out of foam so that you too can learn how to make Sylvie's breastplate out of foam. Uh, today I was just like, I want to make a tutorial, and my brain went, hmm. And then I went, Loki because I haven't been enjoying that show and I wanted to make an armor piece. So I made Sylvie's breastplate and I'm gonna have links for the patterns down below. So if you wanna make this too, you have tutorial and patterns. What a great combination. All of the foam that I'm using, I think I mentioned it in the video, but just to reiterate, I'm using all four millimeter EVA foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. I'll link all of the materials and stuff that I used to make this breastplate as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, all that good jazz, and uh, let's, let's make a breastplate. So in the show, her breastplate, Sylvie's breastplate and back piece are probably made of leather. And this would mean that it's pretty flexible and pretty comfortable and if I could make this out of leather that would be awesome. But I don't have any leather on hand. What I do have is foam. So I wanted to make a foam breastplate that was also fairly light and will move and can be flexible and is not going to be super heavy. So I'm going to be using 4mm foam for the base and 4mm foam for all the overlays. If you want to use different widths, thicknesses of foam, you can do that. The powders will work with different thicknesses of foam, but this is what I'm using, so, you know, that's what I'm going to tell you to use. The first step in this process is making the patterns. You do not have to do this because I made these and digitized them. So I'm just going to breeze through the pattern making process. The first step is to cover yourself in saran wrap and then cover yourself in tape. I should have done this on the mannequin because eventually I had to take it off and put it on the mannequin because I couldn't see what I was doing, but that's okay. This worked. Uh, the pattern is more accurate to me this way because I did it, you do it on the mannequin and did it on myself and then transferred it to the mannequin. So make saran wrap around your body. Make saran wrap, put saran wrap around your body. Cover everything in tape. I'm just using plain old masking tape. I wish I had thicker masking tape, wider masking tape, but I just have the one inch stuff. And then start drawing out your pattern based on references. Sylvie doesn't have a ton of reference material for her chest piece of her costume. There's a lot of shots of the upper portion of it, but there's not a whole lot of good shots in the show yet of the lower portion of her chest plate. So I'm kind of winging it a little bit. So if this pattern isn't super accurate to the show, note that I am only four episodes into the show right now. There's only four episodes out right now, so this is what I have to go on. Once the pattern is made, it's time to cut this thing up and get it ready for tracing onto foam. So to make the pattern for the base, I ended up just cutting the pattern in two places, tracing that on paper and then putting the pattern back together so I can cut it out again for all the details. It's a little convoluted, but that's how I'm gonna make the base and then have the pattern for all the details. Got the base pieces cut out, so I'm gonna glue those together and then show you what the base looks like before I start cutting out all the details and gluing all the details on. Whee! I'm using barge for all the gluing here and please note I am a complete heathen and do not use registration marks. I probably should, but there are registration marks on the pattern, so don't don't worry. There are registration marks. I'm just an idiot. Here it is. It is glued. So I'm using four millimeter for the base, which is a little on the flimsy side, but because I'm going to be laying more four millimeter over it, I didn't want it to be too thick. So it's basically going to be eight millimeters when all is said and done. And so the base is thinner than I think I'd normally do. But that's okay. So I just kind of taped it up here. 
real quick just for the little 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 show off here. So now I'm going to trace out and cut out all of the details and then start placing them and gluing them on. Okay, everything is now cut out. Woohoo! But I need to dremel some stuff. So I'm going to dremel edges and add texture to piece number two and get everything ready to be glued. So that's the next step. Okay, so I didn't record the dremeling, but um, I wanted to show you how I did this like kind of hammered texture in the foam for these pieces and for this neck piece. Basically, I just took this dremel bit, which I think is supposed to be for like glass, but is it on foam? And I just went doink, 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 over and over and over until I got this hammered texture. You can also do this with like a heat tool. You can burn the texture in, but I had my Dremel out, so I used this tip. So I already glued these little dudes down on these pieces. So now it's time to start gluing everything onto the breastplate. So everything's been dremeled and my desk is a mess, but that's par for the course. So everything's ready to go and get glued down. So I'm gonna start gluing stuff. I didn't mention this earlier, but when using barge, please use a fume respirator. It is stinky. Don't hurt your lungs. Wear a respirator. Anyway, I'm starting to glue things with gluing the edges down first and then gluing from the top down, starting with the, num the piece that I numbered one. So the smallest circle two, and then down from there. And this is a really simple process. It's just putting glue on things and placing them down and making sure that they fit correctly. And then once it's all glued, it's basically ready for primer and paint. I used Plasti Dip to prime this breastplate. I did two layers. I did it out in my garage, out where there's good ventilation. I opened the door. Plasti Dip is stinky again, so don't use it without using a respirator. If you don't have Plasti Dip, you can very easily use a brush on primer, but make sure to always A, heat seal your foam. I also used heat to open up a couple of the details that I just used my knife to carve in and B always prime your foam before painting because if you don't the paint will sink into the foam and you will be sad. Once primed it's time for paint. The paint job on this is pretty straightforward and simple. I'm going to be painting the little details on the sides gold and I'm going to be using golden heavy body acrylics. This is a really heavily pigmented gold and I'm leaving the black base as the base for the gold. This gives a little bit more of a worn feeling rather than basing it out in white. I'm just gonna use one layer, that's all it really needs, and then clean up my mistakes. As for the rest of the paint, I left the outer border black, painted the hammered textured piece gold, the little tiny little edging pieces that I carved gold, and then the interior of the breastplate, all of the crosswise pieces and the pieces that aren't the border, I took a little bit of hunter green acrylic paint and just did a very light, almost dry brushing layer over the black. It's really unclear what color this thing actually is in the show. But I wanted to give a little bit of delineation between the interior pieces and the exterior and the border. So it's just ever so slightly green on the inside. And I really like it. I like it how it came out. So that was the paint job. Dun, 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 dun. So um, it's still drying, but uh, this is the final paint job. So I decided to do just a very light green kind of dry brush wash over the interior pieces and I left the outside black, which I think looks really cool. And the gold looks really, really good. And it's really just one layer of gold. It's a super pigmented golden gold paint that I really, really like. And I don't need to put that many layers on 
and it's just one layer. So I'm gonna just show you what this looks like kind of on the dress form and then that'll be it. Here's what she looks like on the dress form. I think it looks pretty good. So I don't have any strapping done on this yet. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna actually end up doing strapping, but it has two slots here for straps because the costume has straps that go over the shoulder. So that just straps down there. And if I did strap it up, I would put attachments here and here. Now the costume doesn't have like a delineated, uh, the actual costume doesn't have any like difference between the front and the back that I can tell. I think it's one solid piece and there's pieces in the back that go with it. But if you just want to make the breastplate out of foam so you can have the front of the costume and I'm, like she wears a cape so you don't really need the back. This was probably be fine and it, I think it looks pretty good. I might need to just uh, hit it with a little heat there or just make sure it straps properly there. It's, it's sticking out but that's just me being picky. So this is what it looks like and uh, yeah. Outro me. Engage. Thanks so much for watching and uh, indulging my late night creativity bombs, I guess. Anyway, I'll see you folks in the next video. I hope you have a good one and uh, have a good night.